Teresita Lambert. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Teresita, you have one ticket of parking on Spruce Street at an expired meter. Um. And then, wait a minute. <laughs> and then you have a second ticket <clears throat> that goes back five years ago. We've been looking for you for five years. And that was an expired meter, too. So let's, let's talk the about the let's get, get close to the mic, OK? The spider meter? I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Let's talk about the one on Spruce Street. Okay, th that was a couple of weeks ago. You were on Spruce Street, and the meter expired. And after the 14, I don't have the money that day. And then I can the following week, it pay. Um, it was 25, but uh, when I came, they say 50. I don't have the 50 that I pay 30. And I said, I was supposed to, the, the 30 pay the another 20. And the lady said, okay, was, I go up. I don't have the money for that day. You're not working? And I work, but I'm not making enough money. Yeah, I had to pay my rent and all this stuff. OK. On the ticket on Spruce Street for the meter. I paid another ticket, but I don't know what happened. All right, don't get nervous. I see you, you get nervous. Right, just listen to me for a minute, okay? Do you have any children? They be. Big. The ticket on Spruce Street, you paid it, and then the amount doubled after you paid it. So I'm going to dismiss that. Okay, thank you. Then you have the other ticket. I get mail every day. And I'm going to share mail that I received today. This is a ticket from a woman named Kathy Broussard. And she lives in Baytown, Texas. And I'm not going to read the full letter, but she says she watches our court proceedings on television. And she's very sympathetic to some of the people that come before me. And she said, I am sending you a $20 check. And she made the check payable to me for the purposes of helping someone who needs it. That's what the letter says. It was a wonderful letter, and she goes on to say other things. But basically, she sent a check, and this check is made payable to me for $20. So I'm going to endorse the check to the Providence City, the city of Providence. I'm going to charge you $20 for the second ticket, and I'm going to give the check <clears throat> that Kathy Broussard sent into the court <clears throat> to pay for it. Thank you. <clears throat> so say good, say thank you to Kathy. Thank you to Kathy. <laughs> good luck. Let me give a very special thank you to Kathy Broussard. Having the ability to be sympathetic demands a selfless soul and a huge heart. Remember, it takes very little to make a big difference in the lives of those less fortunate. I encourage everyone to follow Kathy's lead and practice compassion. Let's stop waiting for a kinder world and let's stop building one. Francis Arugio. Good morning. Good morning, Francis. Francis, uh, you had an environmental summons, and <clears throat> it is not often that a court administrator approaches me with a matter and says, Judge, I think you should look at this. Uh, but in your case, he did. Yes, Evidently, did. you sent a letter to a court administrator I did. who was so moved by it that he came in to see me and then told me you were in court today. So, Mr. Butler, you want to <clears throat> you want to address this matter, please? Good morning, Your Honor. Yes, I received a, a letter from Ms. Arujo uh, probably within the last two weeks stating that she missed her court date and uh, because she was watching her grandchildren for the Jewish holiday. Um, and her environmental fine had going from 100 to 300 hours, she did um, contact the Department of Public Works for a large item pickup, 
And because I believe of that holiday, um, they were not, uh, unable to pick it up in time and she received the violation, but she didn't contact Department of Public Works. Francis, what do you want to tell me about this? Get next to the mic. Well, <clears throat> my son had left a boat and sails in my yard, and in doing so, it stayed there for quite a while, so finally we decided we needed to get rid of it. And I did call this 800 number that I've often called, and they're really good about picking stuff up, so I was totally comfortable with doing that, and yet, uh, then I got this, and obviously that did not happen. Right. So I just can't possibly pay $300. <laughs> I mean, I just don't have it. So I could pay a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not sure whether Mr. Butler was asking for weenies in your behalf or whether he was going to help you pay the fine. He, he, didn't, <laughs> he didn't tell me what course of action he was prepared to take. Your Honor, uh, the last paragraph of the uh, letter that she wrote was, I would like a new court date because I am afraid of arrest. Yep. That was what they do. They say body attachment, which means <laughs> that's Inspector Quinn. We send him out, but only well, I'd only gladly go with you. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm just I'm just shocked you didn't get any more for storing the SS minnow in the yard for that long. <laughs> Inspector Quinn says she says she'd be happy to go with you. I was trying to dance around that judge by continuing <laughs> talking, but you did pick up on that. <laughs> Inspector Quinn has uh, made it very clear that he will not be involved in pickups unless they're in Florida in January and February. <laughs> Other than that, he wants no body attachments. All right. Well, I know, uh, Mr. Uh, I know Mr. Butler, you've taken an interest in this. Based on the explanation, do you have a recommendation to the court? Ask for dismissal, Your Honor. All right. I'm going to accept the recommendation of Mr. Butler. He has made a determination that based on the, all of the circumstances of this, that the matter is ripe to be dismissed, and I agree with him. Thank you, Judge. Okay, Thank good you luck very to you. Much. Good luck. Thank you, Your Honor. For those of you keeping track, add Francis to the list of women who have thrown themselves at the old Zigster. That's Inspector Quinn. We send him out. I'd Only gladly go with you. <laughs> um, Francis brings the total number up to two. Well, maybe that's not Brad Pitt, George Clooney, or Judge Caprio type numbers. It's a start, perhaps even a groundswell. Don't worry, Colleen. It's no biggie that all the ladies love the Ziggy. I'm still coming home to you, girl. Love ya. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.